This system is portable, it's easy to use, easy to read, and it gives you fast and reliable results. One feature of the BD Vertor Plus is it gives you two alternative ways to conduct and analyze tests. That's important because that allows you to choose a method that works best for your specific workflow. Today, I'm going to help walk you through specifically batch testing in the Analyze Now testing mode. This mode will allow you to maximize the number of tests you can do by using batch testing. For demonstration purposes, I'll show you how to process a batch of 10 nasal specimens at one time. It's important to note that I will not be using the barcode scanning feature or the connectivity features of the BD Veritor Plus system during this demonstration. However, there are additional trainings available for those features if you're interested. Make sure you have a clean area to perform the test in accordance with your local regulations. I'll start by unboxing the BD Veritor system for rapid detection of SARS-CoV-2. When you open up the box, you're going to find two cards inside. One of these is a quick reference guide for nasal specimen collection, and the other one is a quick reference guide for the workflow. I like to keep these cards nearby at my workbench to make sure I have them for reference throughout the procedure. And going inside the kit here, what you'll want to do is we have nasal specimen swabs. So you'll have 10 nasal swabs. And you can see I've put those here on the bench. You'll want to pull out 10 unitized extraction reagent tubes. Those come in a nice foil pouch. So what you'll do is just simply open up the pouch. Inside the pouch, you'll find the 10 tubes. You can pull out those tubes and you can place those in the provided cardboard racks. So there are three cardboard racks inside the kit. You can see you can place the tubes right in that rack. I have one set up here for reference as well. You can see 10 tubes set up. Next, we'll remove 10 test devices or test cartridges from the kit. So you'll see they're wrapped in a foil pouch as well. You'll simply open the foil pouch and you can remove 10 of these like I've set up on the bench top here. Not included in the kit, but also important for this batching workflow are scientific timers. So we have two scientific timers that you'll want to have nearby. And then anything you'd like to record the test results with. So in regards of this demonstration, we have a data sheet that we've created. This will be manually entering the data. So you'll see me enter that at the end of the test. When performing testing, make sure to wear proper PPE in accordance with your local regulation. That may include eye protection, face mask, face shield, and gloves. And next, you'll want to check that your BD Veritor analyzer is running the appropriate firmware. You can do this when you simply power on the instrument, pressing the blue button. The screen of the instrument will tell you the version of firmware the instrument is running. Make sure this is the appropriate version that matches up with the instructions for use. In setting up the batching workflow for maximum efficiency, it's helpful to organize the BD Veritor system for rapid detection of SARS-CoV-2 test kit reagents in the following manner, from left to right. To begin, we remove 10 nasal swabs for taking the specimen from the kit. I like to open just the end of the wrapper to make accessing the swab easier when sampling several people in a row with different swabs. So you can peel back the film and open the end of the swab. Secondly, I then take 10 BD Veritor system extraction reagent unitized tubes, removing them from the foil package and setting them upright in the provided cardboard rack that comes in the kit. So you can see 10 tubes in a row. I then label these tubes using a Sharpie marker or another method of your choice. In this example, I'll label these tubes one through 10. And you can do this by simply writing on the outside of the plastic tube, like so. Next, we'll remove 10 test devices from the box. We'll begin by unwrapping the test devices from the foil wrappers. Here's an example of a foil wrapper, so you'll simply remove the test device and place that on the counter. I already have 10 test devices unwrapped. 
We'll then be labeling those 1 through 10 to correspond to the extraction reagent tubes that were labeled for processing the patient specimens. Place the two scientific timers next to the test devices. These timers will be used to track both the 15 minute incubation time for each test device and to measure the 30 second staggering between devices. In other words, you'll want to stagger or add the specimen to the test devices 30 seconds apart for each specimen to allow enough time to read and record the individual test results. You will want to make sure you place your charged BD Veritor Plus system on the bench top within arm's reach of the test devices. You can power on the BD Veritor Plus system right before the first test is read by pressing the blue power button once. The Analyze Now testing mode, the mode we'll use for batch testing, is the default testing mode of the BD Veritor Plus analyzer. As long as the analyzer is charged, you do not need to have it plugged into the power source to begin testing. Remember that the BD Veritor Plus system will stay powered on automatically for 15 minutes in Analyze Now mode in between uses, and it will read each test device in less than 10 seconds, including a three second countdown on the screen once the test device is inserted. Now we are all set up to run batch testing for 10 tests. The first step of the batching process is to prepare the extraction reagent tube by removing and discarding the cap from the tube, then collecting the specimen from the patient. Specimens should be collected in accordance with the BD Veritor system for rapid detection of SARS-CoV-2 instructions for use. The swab should be inserted into one nostril of the patient, with the swab tip inserted up to one inch from the edge of the nostril. Then, roll the swab five times along the mucosa inside the nostril to ensure that both mucus and cells are collected. Using the same swab, repeat this process for the other nostril to ensure that an adequate sample is collected from both nasal cavities. Remember, freshly collected specimens should be processed as soon as possible, but no later than one hour after specimen collection. Once the tube is uncapped, insert the swab containing the specimen into the tube and plunge the swab up and down in the fluid for a minimum of 15 seconds, making sure not to splash contents out of the tube. Remove the swab while squeezing the sides of the tube to extract the liquid from the swab. Press the attached dropper tip firmly onto the extraction reagent tube containing the processed sample. Mix thoroughly by swirling or flicking the bottom of the tube. Place the inoculated extraction reagent tube back in the rack and proceed to the next specimen. Repeat this workflow on the remaining specimens until you have all 10 extraction reagent tubes processed. Remember that once processed, you have 30 minutes to use the extraction reagent tube to add the extracted specimen sample to the test device. Next, we will set up to add the sample to the test device and incubate on the bench top. Remember to perform this testing out of direct sunlight, excessive heat over 30 degrees Celsius, wind, etc. Now we will be using our two timers. One will be for the 15 minute incubation timing and another for the 30 second stagger timing. This is where the staggering of the test device inoculation and incubation is important. I like to run my test 30 seconds apart, but feel free to stagger each test for longer, knowing that you have 30 minutes to use the extraction reagent vial from when you express the swab in it. To begin this step, pick up the appropriately labeled corresponding sample extraction reagent tube. In this case, we'll start with one. I like to give the tube bottom a few flicks to mix the sample, especially if it's been sitting for a few minutes. Then you invert the extraction reagent tube and hold it vertically over the test device, approximately one inch from the sample well. Gently squeeze the ribbed body of the tube, dispensing three drops of the processed specimen into the sample well of the test device. One, two, three. Excess volume remains for retesting, if necessary, in the extraction reagent tube. Now, start the timer to begin counting for 15 minutes.
I then start my second timer for a 30 second count interval, which will enable me to stagger the test device. Again, I'll be staggering my test 30 seconds apart to make it easy to keep track of when to read the next test device. My timer here is alerting me to 30 second intervals. So at the next 30 seconds, I'll be repeating these same steps for devices two through 10. This process should take about five minutes. You will then have about 10 minutes to wait until the first test device is ready to read. In this time, I like to make sure my results record sheet is ready and my BD Veritor Plus analyzer is turned on and ready to go in Analyze Now mode. When you power on the BD Veritor Plus analyzer, push the blue power button once. The system will complete a self-test before it is ready for use. You will see the firmware version displayed. Ensure that the firmware version is the appropriate version to run the test. After the self-test, the display window shows insert test device or double click button for walkaway mode. Once 15 minutes has elapsed, I will read the first test and then I will read the remaining tests at 30 second intervals between tests. I will immediately pick up the first device at the 15 minutes, insert it into the BD Veritor Plus Analyzer, and you will see the test result appear on the screen. This particular test is SARS-CoV-2 negative. The analyzer screen clearly displays the test result. This result will stay on the screen while the cartridge is in the analyzer for up to 15 minutes without power plugged in, and up to 60 minutes when power source is connected. I will then record the test result on my test record sheet. You can do whatever you need within, with the result based on your workflow preference. At this point, I then check my timer to ensure that 30 seconds has then elapsed for reading of the second test. Once 30 seconds has elapsed, I will then read my second test device. This test result is SARS-CoV-2 positive. So I will record that result on my record sheet Once 30 seconds has elapsed, I will then be ready to read the next test device. Reading these tests will take approximately five minutes. We have now batched 10 tests at a time using the Analyze Now mode workflow. As you can see, this allows you to process numerous tests at a time. The BD Veritor Plus system is easy to use. It gives you results quickly, and its display makes verification of the test result easy to read and record. To learn more about the BD Veritor Plus system for rapid detection of SARS-CoV-2, visit bdveritor.com. There we have lots of great information, educational videos, and other reference materials that will help you.